Ballybor Hill is part of a, a wider restoration program. We did a, an in-depth boots on the ground survey of the deep peat areas across our Scottish estates. Since then, we've been developing a, an operational plan to establish a, a programme of works over the next five to 10 years. This site was actually prioritised, not because this is the area of the worst erosion, but actually we felt we could have quite a big impact on biodiversity here. So this area is really dry and it was noticeable for us on our surveys that you come up here and we don't see any wildlife. But we know from the previous phases of works, holding back that bit more water, creating more sphagnum filled pools, we're seeing an increase in waders, an increase in grouse, um, and we thought this is a really good opportunity for this site here. The main challenges to this kind of work is mainly getting out to the diggers, getting fuel out to the diggers every day and keeping them going. Just how remote you are makes it a little bit of a challenge. We are mainly using zipping and damming, wave damming down the ditches. We're reprofiling the gullies and damming them, just peat damming the gullies. Having seen the success of the wave dam and zipping approach elsewhere, Cairngorms National Park, the Loch Lomond and Trossachs National Park, we were keen to trial it first here because we want to see how it works on particularly dry peats. We were interested in how the site responded to that technique when you don't have such slippery wet turves and peat to play with. We've just looked at some of the work that the current contractor is doing and within literally a few days we're seeing land that was previously quite dry is now re-wetted and we're already seeing that as a, a significant step forward. As part of our programme of restoration, we've developed what we're calling a mentoring scheme, where in any restoration site, we're, we're encouraging people who have an interest in peatland to come and experience what that means in practice. So the mentoring scheme was a brilliant success. We had eight mentees on the scheme. But what we did through that scheme is we looked at a very complex area of erosion in probably the worst winter conditions. So the whole thing was a really great way of actually understanding how dynamic these systems are and how you do still need to be reactive um, to condition changes despite how good your design might be to start with. My advice to other landowners uh, in peatland restoration is, is to say this is a a wonderful project to get involved with. There is an immediate gain and benefit to the landscape, but there's also benefits to wildlife, to insect life, to vegetation. Uh, so it's, it's, it's hugely rewarding. <laughs>